Okay, okay, okay. So I was just like, well, I'll pick cannon. But <laughs> oh, actually, uh, you know, we may have made a slight mistake whenever we were uh, killing time earlier. Oh, yeah, Jason is actually in the building, and he's been going off against Mobiz. I, I have a quick question. Did we select everyone who was going to be on stream today strictly because of how godlike their hair is? <laughs> like, the hair game so far has been, like, a perfect ratio. Very, very on point. Like, like, like crazy. But, but I will say that so far, the, the player with the better hair really been able to come out on top as far as the actual match goes, but let's see if Mobiz can change things up. Very unorthodox character selections from both of these players. Uh, the Charizard from Jason and the Zelda, actually, from Mobiz. Yeah, Zelda did get some buffs in the recent patch. Um, hard to say whether or not they'll be, they'll be like, uh, really impactful in the long run, but I'm interested to see the character play. Yeah, she definitely still does have those kicks hit very, very hard. We'll be taking stocks very early if she doesn't to land them all. They're not as safe to actually throw up as they were in the previous game since they have so much landing leg on them. So right, that landing leg, definitely something to talk about. But also the fact that Zelda has uh, that great punish available to her if she can land one of those grounded up Bs and then chain them uh, into a follow-up. That's a really quick way to get uh, some surprisingly early KOs. Yeah, don't you, uh, I believe you can actually DI out of it if you see it coming, but a lot of times it'll catch you off guard. But speaking of getting cut off guard, getting hit by that aerial, Charizard hits pretty hard. Yeah, and he had uh, some buffs this patch as well, if I can recall. Uh, some, yeah. His uh, forward air actually was one of the bigger ones. Lots of reduced landing, so actually landing with it is significantly more safe. Right, and we've seen a couple of forward airs actually so far from Jason. Again, off to a great start, taking the initial stock, and then proceeding to lap Mobiz as far as percents go. That's going to be big damage, and wow, the charge on that up smash. He just knew it was going to work out. The confidence that we're seeing from Jason. It's not something that we're seeing so far from Mobiz. He's really been struggling to find some of his openings outside of those initial few lightning legs, uh, those lightning kicks. But aside from that, it, it just has been all about Jason this entire first game. Yeah, Mobiz definitely needs to land something soon if he wants to start bringing this back. Charizard is certainly capable of taking the stock of his as we saw in the first time. And with the reads that Jason's been getting with those charge up smashes. And all of his, his very well placing of aerials in general. We could be looking to have this game finished. Nice shield on the kick. Now, that is one of the awkward things about it. Since the. Um, wow, that. I'm kind of surprised that killed. Well, yeah, as I was about to say, the, the one awkward thing about the kicks is if they do sweet spot your shield, it does have a lot of pushback on it. So it can be kind of safe if, like, if they weren't expecting to get kicked. Um. Yeah, so look at knockoff positions like that whenever you're from behind them. That sort of kick, pretty safe on block. But uh, in general, it's not something you can be just having as your central game plan. So I'll just do this in neutral. It's not going to work out. At the end of that last game, I saw some great moments of offense coming out from Mobiz. But he, or sorry, from de of defense coming out from Mobiz. But he never really found the offense, right? He was never really able to put all that much on the board. It was just all about Jason really dictating the pacing of the match, really finding all of those very succinct hits and really ensuring that he could get the KOs. Mobiz in one of these down throws, he's been pretty solid. He was able to, I think, keep up with Jason in the early game, but in the late game really is where he started to struggle. Yeah, the, this is something you, you'll see like a decent amount um, coming from like whenever two players of different skill levels play is at the beginning of the game, you know, it's kind of like it's getting a little more wet in the wild and you know, things are kind of going crazy, damage is going back and forth. But then the better player will often start to adjust and start to catch on to what it is his opponent wants to do. And that's when it starts getting really rough. Like right there, Moba's full hopping from across the stage, dropping down. There wasn't really a safe option he could have done to attack his opponent's shield. So Jason just said, okay, well, I'll just shield and then punish. And sort of giving himself the room to hang himself with. And that is a, a trap that a lot of uh, newer players will fall for. Jason's spacing has been uh, pretty solid in regards to getting around some of those lightning kicks that we were talking about before. Another big forward coming out. This time won't be enough to take the stock. Oh, if he had landed another one of those charged up smashes, I would have been like, okay, Jason, you need to slow down there. But I uh, think that aerial is going to be more than enough to close the stock out. Now Jason... Starting back, hoping to be in that same position he was in that last game where he took the first stock and very quickly was able to lap Mobiz in percent. Yeah, definitely working on it right now. Lots of damage on the board. Mobiz hasn't really gotten anything started again in the second stock, which he definitely needs to do if he wants to uh, have any hope of coming back. The one thing is that he has the percentage a bit higher than he did previously on Charizard, but against a character who hits this hard, that can actually spell doom given how strong Charizard hits. Yeah, adding Rage on top of that. Oh, uh, yeah. and 
that's all she wrote. Another big aerial. I was what, like two back airs yeah. in that stock? Yeah, well, both of those stocks were back airs. And yeah. uh, I think the, the first stock, game one, as well, was a back air. And uh, that, that forward air. Yeah, and the forward air for the second. The yes. back air hit surprisingly hard. Like he was, he was at like 95, that one, the first stock, game two, whenever he died to it. Exactly. But, but you know, very, very well played. Uh, don't see a, a lot of that Charizard from Jason, but uh, definitely pretty scary. Yeah, maybe a new development. Maybe, maybe. That, that, that's a Charizard that definitely is not just a flying type. I yes. saw a little bit of dragon <laughs> in there. Definitely some, some dragon in there. Definitely some dragon in there. <coughs> pre, pre fairy dragon, nonetheless. Yeah. Nonetheless, when it's uh, looking a little broken, looking a little scary. <laughs>